Hey guys, welcome back and in this video we're going to be looking into the process for how we can flip the hair cards that we have here on the uh, left side to the right side and uh, for that uh, first I'm going to select all the uh, groups over here and I'm going to control D duplicate then I'm going to open my channel box editor and going to hit minus one for the scale at X axis now as you can see it's uh, pretty much uh, flip to the other side but uh, we don't want this minus or the negative axis on the X so for correcting that I'm going to go to modify and freeze transform all the groups but as you can see that we ran into an issue here where uh, the UVs are now flipped and turned red like there's a button uh, up here like if you're switched into this first button then you won't be able to see uh, the shade for the UVs but if like uh, if you're clicking on this button over here then you can easily see if the UVs are switching or uh, turning the right side or not so our next goal here is to uh, pretty much flip all these UVs over here we have uh, so it's like uh, if we're supposed to flip only one UV uh, like only one uh, set of UV then it won't be a problem here like we can easily do that but it's like uh, if we're supposed to flip all the UVs at once which we have to do because switching uh, per UV set is not uh, is not the process that we would like to go for that would take a lot of time then what we can see here is it just flips it from the center of the uh, center of the pivot and Mm, it flips all the way through then we don't want this but actually we want this to be flipping uh, particularly on a single strand only so for that what we can do here is uh, we go to modify and flip options then it's the, for the coordinate settings it's uh, by default set to pivot but we don't want this we want it to be selection center and we hit apply so now we uh, got our UVs flipped and it's uh, from the center of each strand and uh, so we're gonna have to be doing this uh, for all the UV sets definitely mm -mm. so modify and flip uh, make sure that we've done this in all the UVs modify flip there's a keyboard shortcut for this in Maya I go shift and right mouse button hold and there's the flip option you can do that too much faster shift and right mouse hold and flip there you go and we want to make sure that all our UVs are facing the correct sides yeah that's cool so now we have managed to flip the UVs from left to right F managed to flip the hair cards uh, from left to the right but as we can see it's like looking too much identical so the process here now next that we're going to be doing is we want these uh, every hairs to be looking quite different from what we have on the other side so for that we're gonna have to do some manual editings we're going to select the uh, hair chunks like from the uh, uh, from the outliner and hit F8 on the keyboard again for selecting the all the uh, vertices and now what we can do is just work out the on these manually so it's a time-consuming process it's a manual and a labor laborious process but there's no other way for now we have to do this and the better uh, patiently we do this the better the outcome comes out and you can also use uh, make the use of soft selection on Maya that's B is to turn on uh, soft selection B is the shortcut key and when while pressing B and middle mouse drag can uh, make the the radius for the effect of the soft selection larger or smaller we can even like rotate these maybe pull it up a little bit and do it for the other one now for the sake of uh, demonstration on the tutorial I'm going a bit faster here but like on your work 
you definitely might want to give a lot of time do this a little a bit more patiently like if you don't want the soft selection you can turn it off by pressing the B key again and make sure that you're constantly looking into your references as well we want these uh, hair cards to be looking less much uh, less identical as much as possible from the other side I want to make a little bit change on the bottom part over here. Yep, let's go to the F8 all vertices mode. I'm going to select all of these chunks. Now I'm doing here by selecting all the chunks here, but uh, sometimes we might even need to go to individual uh, strands, like only at six from a uh, this was supposed to be a zero zero six like you can name it later from this single group you might need to go individually as well going for the next card again Now the better, better variation we make, the better it looks on the final renders. And you better do this uh, with a lot of patience because uh, this is pretty much the process you need to learn uh, to be doing for the hair cards that we will be uh, building up here again, like for the row B and C, D, E. Uh, the process is pretty much the same like we do it on either one of the sides and flip it up, flip it back to the other change the uh, flip the UVs and uh, we start making the changes again now here I'm trying to swipe the whole chunk a little bit more coming back to the previous hair card again gonna give this to a bit of swipe and also to this one I wanna give this a bit of scaling and make sure the ear is appearing pretty much fine A14 it all depends on your reference like how much puffy do you want it to be or like how much shrinked it's supposed to be To the last one. Now you can see like how I have uh, really separated every hair cards from each other in this one. It's like really spread it out. So I hope you got the idea. Like you might need to do this on your your piece also. Just give some time. Don't hurry up. It takes time, and it's supposed to take time. It takes a lot of practice to do the hair. Like even I'm not perfect here. 
is pretty much my early works for the year, I, I have to say, for the games. Our goal here is just to make some variations on the hair so that it won't look identical from both the sides. We don't have to worry too much on the holes that we're going that we're seeing here because uh, the other hairs that we'll be doing from the uh, upper rows like maybe C or maybe B they're pretty much going to be covering all these things and sometimes we might ne we might even need to remove some of these whole chunks later like if uh, there's too much hair too much of the hair guards it's all a process and uh, we can't tell from right now we get to discover all those kind of things like when we keep working on it There we go. This can be done even much better if I give a little more time on it. But yeah, I think uh, you pretty much got the idea for how to do the row A, and uh, like you can uh, start working on your row A. I'm pretty much sure about that. Yeah. Thanks.